Today we're releasing our latest round of small overlap frontal crash tests, which are intended to push crashworthiness to the next level. So the small overlap frontal crash test is a front crash of the vehicle against a rigid barrier, but only a small portion of the front end contacts the barrier. In this type of crash, we see lots of intrusion in the occupant compartment if it's not strong enough, and sometimes because of the off-center forces, we see movement of the occupants inside that are a challenge for the restraint systems. The Honda Civic, both two and four door versions, earn our highest rating of good in the small overlap frontal crash test. They earned the good rating because their structures held up and didn't collapse in on the driver. The steering column was stable, so the driver airbag was able to protect the head and chest of the driver. The side airbag deployed in a timely manner to help keep the driver inside as the vehicle moved sideways as a result of the offset forces associated with the small overlap crash. The Kia Forte was the worst performer among the small cars we recently subjected to our small overlap crash test. Horrendous collapse of the occupant compartment, illustrated by collapse of the hinge pillar, footwell, A-pillar instrument panel all coming in toward the driver. Despite timely deployment of the driver airbag, instability of the steering column moved the airbag inboard so much that it provided little cushion for the driver's head. We got a curtain deployment, but the curtain needs to deploy early enough and be large enough to prevent the driver's head from hitting the side structure. A strong occupant compartment structure is an important aspect of small front overlap crash protection. Without it, you get what you see here in the Nissan Sentra. The door sills, hinge pillar, A pillar, instrument panel, all collapsed in toward the driver, putting the driver at risk of serious injury. Modern vehicles offer very good protection in a wide range of crashes. Despite that fact, we see a large number of people being seriously injured and killed in frontal crashes. So we're challenging vehicle manufacturers to come up with designs that offer better protection in this crash mode as a way of reducing the toll of frontal crashes on today's highways.